Okay, so now not only are they banging on the side of the house, but now they're like sanding something. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> At least it'd be nice when it's over. <laughs> oh, well, Susan, I have a really important question for you because this comes up all the time with uh, a lot of my, uh, you know, a lot of my clients are, you know, they're purpose driven. They are, um, you, know, you know, you might call them social entrepreneurs, you call them heart centered entrepreneurs, and they, um, they say to me that they are afraid of email and email campaigns because they just, and, and, or posting on social media because they just, it, it's just not about me and they don't want to bother people. And so what, what are some of, what, what would your, your 30 second tip be? Oh my gosh. You know what? I hear this. There isn't anybody I speak to that doesn't say this. I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to, you know, be, I don't like getting all the emails. So I don't want to send emails. I hear it all of the time. I don't want to show up. And you guys, I worked hard on my, my, my why and my messaging. Um, and my message is that if you don't show up, right, you have a change to make in this world. And if you don't show up for the people who need you, like there's somebody out there that you're the only person or one of the only people that can help them solve whatever their issue is. And if you're not doing everything in your power to make sure that that person can find you, it's almost like being selfish because- That's a flip. Sh right, showing up is an act of service. And I'm gonna tell you a really quick story. And, and it was um, a parent coach I had been working with and she did not wanna send email, didn't wanna send it, didn't wanna feel pushy, didn't wanna post on social. But when she was telling me about the work that she was doing with, with her parents, and so she worked with parents of very challenging kids and the kids were just having a hard time in school, couldn't get, the parents were having a hard time. So she went into this, this home and she taught the kids and the parents coping and meditation and art and exercising and yoga, like the things that would help this child be a better family member be a better student, be a better friend. And I kept thinking about this work that this, even if it was one child, if that one child then became an excellent um, schoolmate and was able to go through college well and then get a job well and have an, a relationship and then grow and raise well-adjusted children because of the work that this one parent coach would do with her. That ripple effect is what really informed what my mission is. And my mission is, is that my, the people that I'm working with are making real and valuable change in the world. And if they're not showing up for the people that need them, then I think it's a shame, right? It would be a tragedy. Such a good point. Such a good point. Yeah. What would your post-it note be for our... My post-it... Oh, my thank you for asking. My post-it note is... Oh, there's two. Let them find you. Okay. And show up, right? Be generous. Be resourceful. Give your gifts. I'm not saying give it away. Don't give away workshops. But go ahead and share your tips on your email. Share them all. Nobody's going to go back and read all your emails and have a workshop put together, right? Like show up as that angel in the inbox, giving and giving. And that feels better than saying, I feel pushy. You can say, I feel generous. Mm 